So in today's review, I'm looking at a wide tennis shoe made from Fitville. They advertise this for tennis or court and for pickleball. Now they say it has arch support, which you could get from the insole or you could get from a replacement insole. That's up to you. But they also say it's good for plantar fasciitis, which I've been suffering for over a year on my left foot and I've been going through tennis sneakers like hotcakes searching for a comfortable fit and trying to relieve my plantar fasciitis as I still play. Now this is an off off brand for tennis shoes. I usually purchase the main brands for tennis that you know of and usually play the premium price and this off brand is a little bit going off the side for me so I just figured I'd give it a try because I tried everything else and first impressions is I really like this shoe and it does perform on the tennis court what it gives you is what others give you is the torsion um, support with their anti-torsion in the heat in the heel or midsole um, plenty of cushion as advertised and it feels like you do get energy from the cushion from the court and the main part about this shoe is that it has a wide toe box which gives you extra room for your feet to have your toe spread which helps with uh, plenty of uh, foot conditions and what also helps is with my other shoes uh, they're kind of narrow and fit tight, so it's hard to get a good, thick, high-end cushioning sock in the tennis shoe. And if you do, it's kind of tight, and you're ripping those shoes off as soon as you finish play. With these, you're able to fit a nice, thick sock in there and still have plenty of room, as if you're wearing a normal sock. But you gain from the cushion of the sock and also your insole and the soles of the shoe are providing soft cushioning. So all that combined makes this for me a comfortable uh, tennis shoe which I could give lessons in all day and I'm definitely going to take it for a match because it did well in I was on court maybe five hours in uh, on a Sunday and I did not complain about having these on my feet in all that time. I went from intense hitting to just feeding from the basket, walking around. I drove to the court in them and I hung out afterwards. I, first instinct when I got home wasn't to rip them off my feet. I was walking around them around the house for a while afterwards and my feet even with the thicker sock and it was a hot humid day um, I guess the shoe was breathable so this way my feet weren't my socks weren't soaked my feet weren't wet so that's a good test of this uh, breathability so it's well vented it feels lightweight and it's got good support and and the wideness of the of the tennis shoe with a thin sock it's gonna feel like you're moving around in there unless you start lacing them up super tight. But you put a nice cushion sock or if you go double sock, you're still uncomfortable, but yet you're filling the shoe really nice. And if you got wide feet, they got wide and extra wide. They only sell or make this shoe in wide. So a lot of people need that wide shoe. A lot of people are searching and dissatisfied in the market for a tennis shoe that provides this type of fit. I recommend this shoe. I'm going to be wearing it and you got to check it out. And they don't look too bad. It looks like a different kind of tennis shoe. At first from above, they of course look wide, but who cares about looks? when they feel this good. So Fitville, I think they got a winner here for the off-market tennis shoe. 
and and I'll be recommending them. This is pretty good. So thanks for watching. See you later.